thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Taurus might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon. I think you guys will like. Okay, so this reading is for May 21st through 31st, 2020. Okay, keeping in mind that all tarot readings are timeless. So if you feel drawn to watch this, whether it's a week, month, or even a year from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading. Now, also, this is just a generalized reading, so it may not completely resonate with you. If it doesn't completely resonate with you, just keep the parts that do. Disregard the rest. Feel free to swap the roles around. Never try to force it. But if you would like a more personalized reading um, based on your information and uh, that information of uh, your love interest, then be sure to email me at midnightmoontarot at gmail.com. Okay, and we can get that going for you. I usually uh, have these out to you within 24 hours, unless there's some kind of really big emergency or something, but you know, we got all this time on our hands right now, don't we? Okay, so let's go ahead and calibrate these cards to the astrological sign of Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. And ask our angels, guides, and ancestors for any love messages for Taurus for May 21st through 31st, 2020. Okay. One more time. All right, I'm going to divide these into three stacks. One, two, three. All right, the card on the bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. All right. All right, this is the overall energy for this reading. And as we go through your spread, I'm going to show you how this card's going to relate to the uh, reading and the different cards that come up in your spread, okay? All right. Now, uh, forgive me if you guys hear a lot going on. I live in the French Quarter in New Orleans, Louisiana, and they are getting ready to reopen and get all these things ready. Uh, there's some workers here in my building, and they brought their kids with them, and they're playing and running up and down the hallway, and it's been going on for days. So, I mean, it doesn't matter if I decide to do it in the middle of the night or middle of the afternoon. There's always somebody, always somebody around. Okay. Shuffle those one more time just because of the distraction that was going on there. Okay, now for those of you who are new to my channel, I do four columns. Uh, the first column it represents you, uh, what you may recently have been going through, uh, things that you're currently dealing with, and opportunities, people, situations uh, that are coming towards you. The second column is the same thing, only it's for your twin flame, your soulmate, your divine counterpart, your karmic partner. This could be um, maybe somebody you've just met, it might be an ex, but whatever it is the person you are thinking of the most whenever you wake up in the morning, the first person you think about when you wake up in the morning, uh, the last person you're thinking about when you go to sleep at night. The third column has to do with blockages and obstacles, challenges, fears, anxieties, that type thing. And in the last column, we have your outcome. Now, the thing about this is I've just laid out two cards in each row. I'm going to do this two more times for a grand total of 24 cards. So as we go through your reading, um, we're going to have a pretty good idea of what's going on by the time we get to the end with that many cards in play. All right, so we have justice as well as the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so Taurus, uh, you know, 
you've been thinking a lot, you might have had a lot of time on your hands. You, this is some, you know, you may be appearing to somebody as if you're a, a little selfish. You might be feeling as if th these, you might have people who may, who see you as, um, you know, completely uh, focused on yourself and your own needs and what you want and what you need. And we have this water back here that's pretty turbulent. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, whatever. And they seem to be getting very, very upset with this. They feel like they're not getting enough back from you. Maybe you aren't, um, you know, communicating with them on the level that they need and they understand, which in, in some aspects that can seem selfish to you, to you about them, but they are seeing you as someone who is completely selfish and only focused on your needs. And this brings us to this justice. And this is like, you know, after a while that can kind of wear you down on both ends. The other person's tired of fussing about not receiving your attention and you are kind of fussing that, you know, they're a very self-involved person. And these are decisions that you're gonna to have to make. We're like really harsh decisions, a major arcana card here. This is something that you're gonna to have to really, really think about, all right? Now your partner sees you as their soulmate. They are so proud of the fact that you are their uh, partner, that they are in a relationship with you. Uh, they like to parade this around and make it pretty well known that they are. They see you as somebody uh, basically like their soulmate. You see the four wands here and the whole 1111 thing that goes along with that. And they like to envision this future with you where uh, the two of you are uh, in a celebratory, happy, loving relationship for the rest of your lives. All right. Now, in your obstacles and challenges, we have the Three of Swords as well as the Judgment card here. And this tells me you've had your heart broken really, really badly at one point. You might have actually felt shredded. You felt betrayed, all of the all of the uh, adjectives that you can think of that would describe that feeling that we have when we find out uh, that we are not uh, what we thought we were to another person and you are hoping and hoping that at some point uh, you can revive this relationship. This could be the reason why your water partner may see you as someone who is not as focused on your relationship with them. So they, may, they may be picking up on the fact that uh, you are distracted by these things that have gone on in your past before. Now, when we get to your outcome, we have the sun as well as the five of cups. All right. Now, what does that tell us? It tells us, yes, you're still hurt over the things from your past. You're still hurt over this lost opportunity that you had with this person. You do have this love here from your water person that is offering you uh, this love. And, uh, you know, you can... you. In this card here, along with this, can mean two different things. You are hoping for a new beginning with your person from the past, or you can have this new beginning with this person that uh, seems to think the world of you. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. So when we come to your next set of four cards, we have the Ten of Wands as well as the Page of Wands. In your partner's column, we have the Knight of Wands as well as the Empress. In your blockages, challenges, we have the Star as well as the King of Cups. And in your outcome, we have the King of Swords and the High Priestess. Okay, it's getting really hot in here. I turned my air off. I sacrificed my air, basically, uh, so you guys can hear me better. Uh, but I may have to turn it on. All right, so we have this Ten of Wands, and this talks about these burdens that you're still carrying around from you from a previous relationship. I have a hair in my eye. Oh, okay. So, yeah, and you're, you're carrying this around with you. It's it's time to let this go. It's time to put it down. It's time to piss or get off the pot, basically. And you're going you're gonna to have to take action on what it is that you want to do. You're either going to try to... Uh, 
uh, have reunification with this person from your past, or you're going to have to, uh, you know, stand up and make it known to this other person uh, what your true feelings are and what it is exactly going on with you, because it's not really fair to them for you to lead them on or make them feel that, you know, you are their person when you may have this empress on your mind constantly all the time. And again, you're going to have to uh, go pursue this person. All right. And the person we're dealing with most likely Libra, of course, because we have this, emp this empress here and she's all about uh, sensuality, beauty, art, uh, refinement. Um, she's all about growth, fertility, motherhood, mothering, uh, not just pregnancy type of mothering, not just pregnancy type of fertility and growth, but uh, this is someone that you see uh, being prosperous and, and future with. And in order to do that, you're going to have to pursue. You're going to have to, uh, you know, go a little bit beyond just, hey, you know, communicate with this person and let them know what it is you're going to want to do. So in your blockages and challenges and obstacles, well, we have this King of, um, King of Cups. <clears throat> All right, swallowed wrong, sorry. All right, now this King of Cups could be a male, it could be female. There's no gender in the tarot. But uh, if it is a female, then she's stepped up her game as far as the, uh, you know, vocalizing and letting you know exactly what it is that they need and they want and what's going on in your life. And it's uh, maybe trying to guilt trip you, guilt trip you a little bit. In order to have this new beginning that you want, uh, they are seeking a new beginning with you and you are just seeking a new beginning. It's like this person just absolutely just does not take no for an answer, even though you've let them know that you very possibly could have been involved with them uh, for superficial reasons during the time when uh, your heart was broken. I would say that if you got into a relationship with somebody fairly soon uh, after uh, this breakup with this person, uh, then you pretty much, yeah, okay, I lost my cards here. Okay, then you pretty much, yeah, that's where they, what, is that where they go? Okay, yeah. Yeah, you pretty much are going to have to uh, decide what it is that you want to do, all right? So with this King of Swords, definitely, you're going to have to eliminate one choice or the other. I lay my cards down so funny down here when I get through with them. Sometimes I don't put them back in the right stack. I was trying to get that straight there. Yeah, and it's something that you're going to have to think on really, uh, you know, deep and spiritually. And you have this hierophant here, and it goes along with this high priestess here. And this is like double, double decisions here. This is something that you really have to let go. Can you let go of this person? Can you move on? Do you want the person from your past? Do you want to leave the person from your past alone and not completely pursue the future? This is what you have to do. But what you're going to have to do is to totally eliminate one or the other from your life. You cannot have your cake and eat it too. You can try. But then that just puts you in a position where you are the one that's being sneaky and a liar and a manipulator. All right. So in our last set of four cards, we have the Ace of Cups and we have the Five of Wands. Okay, in the person's column, we have the Six of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Lab children here. Yeah. <laughs> About one of the only times you're going to see kids in the French Quarter. All right. So we have the... Okay. We have the Four of Cups as well as the Ace of Wands. Hold on. So sorry about that. Gosh. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so in our last set of cards, we have the Tower as well as the Queen of Cups. All right, so when you get to your relationship with your water sign, your Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person, you're going to find that, uh, yeah, you're, there's, there's going to be a lot of bickering that's going on. There's going to be a lot of questioning. There's going to be a lot of defensiveness. There's going to be a lot of this, just it doesn't let up that every conversation you have, it's going to turn to something that is, uh, you know, 
pretty unpleasant, okay? And so we see that you don't have to make the decision for this, uh, this air sign of yours, for this empress, for this Libra person, because they're going to make that decision for you. They're going to, they're going to continue to move away from you. They're going to continue uh, the stuff. They're going to continue to move away from you as quickly as they can, because they see that uh, the things that you were doing uh, that caused them to move away in the first place, that you took for granted that you could keep doing those things that they may have tolerated for such a long time that they finally had enough and they moved away. So when you are in communication with this person again and this topic comes up about, you know, do we try again? Do we not try again? They are, they're going to make it real simple for you. They're going to say, no, I'm not having this again because you haven't changed and things are not changing. And so your obstacles and challenges are, <laughs> all right. The fact that you're a very physically passionate person, uh, you find that you are somewhat bored with this water person that's in your life. They, you know, they can tell you, oh, well, you know, I can be there for you. I can love you. I can do this. I can give you security. I can provide you home. I can do whatever it is that they do for you. Uh, you just are not feeling this uh, sensuality. You're not feeling this passion. Okay. All right, and in the outcome, we have the Tower as well as the Queen of Cups. So this does show me that you have this High Priestess, you have this King of Swords, you have this Queen, and you have your Tower. And so, you know, things are just basically, absolutely, completely just falling apart with your water person. And uh, you're going to find that you're kind of ending up alone because... Uh, you know, whatever you had going on with this water person, uh, they are, they're not, you know, they're not what you want and you finally have come to terms with that. But at the same time, you blew it with the air sign. All right, Taurus, sorry about that. Sorry about all the noise out here. Okay, I love you guys. And if you'll go over to my community tab, I'm doing a giveaway on May 31st. Be sure to like the post and underneath it, comment done, so that your name can be included in the drawing that I'm going to be doing on May 31st. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.